Hello and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode, we made our way to Hyrule Field, finally, to go ahead and head on over to here, Kakariko Village in the Elden Province. We went ahead and talked to Elden, as well as obtaining the next Vessel of Light. And now, in this episode, it's time for us to help return Kakariko Village back to normal for the Twilight. So let's get started by uh, activating the uh, senses here and seeing this guy. Cripes! How the heck am I supposed to babysit someone else's little brats when I ought to be saving myself? Damn, um, you know, that's a you problem. But as you can see, <laughs> the youth scent is guiding its way to in that house. But obviously, Wolf Link cannot enter doors, so you gotta be uh, finding your own entryway. I believe, I think there's like somewhere to either like climb or. Oh, here we go. Alright, Link, get your ass up here. Hey, you can climb up here. Damn right, here we go. Jump up here, and in we go to the house below. Now we can properly talk to the people here for a very special scene. So there they are, the children of the village. Cripes, I don't see those black brutes anywhere. They've got to be hiding somewhere waiting for the helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast. We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah? I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure don't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold this sanctuary against beasts that strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over! Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her, and a whole gang from town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone, and there were two monsters waiting. You connecting the dots? That means that if we get attacked by them, then we'll be... Barnes! Look, Renato, all I mean to say is that it's risky here, too. Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is a cellar. What? You've got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. I would not do that. When Father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like the beasts outside. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Link is coming to save us all. I can feel it. Man, such a funny but such a good scene as well. These kids knew you'd come save them. What a hero. How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. You are chosen by the gods, and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit. Or worse, into a dark monster when you enter twilight. And no one knows what you have done. You may be doomed to toll in obscurity forever. <laughs> You're the type to worry about everything. I can tell. But don't fret over Princess Zelda. She chose this state of affairs after all. Anyway, what's with having to light candles to get to the basement? Not very subtle, is it? So, what are you gonna do now? My lonely little hero. <laughs> 
Well, of course he's going to be lighting the torches. But yeah, I want to talk about more about that scene. It's such a good scene. Like, seeing Link down here, seeing how the kids, I've been here the whole time. They were taken here. Got to meet uh, some of the people of Kakarika with Barnes. He's, he's extremely funny. Crawling around in the fire. Like, oh, I got to light these torches immediately. And it's that super sweet moment where just Colin, in his hardest parts, believes that Link will come to save him. And he's right. Link was watching in wolf form. Unfortunately, they don't know he's there. But... You know what? You still got to do what a hero's got to do and save the land. And Twilight, I don't know. It's such a good scene. I love it so much. But now with hearing, with the uh, lighting the fires, what we want to do is, of course, go ahead, pick up that torch with our dual wheeled fire. Go ahead and light up all these torches. Let's go open the way to the cellar. Alright, you know, before we head down here, I actually want to go talk to them again, because I don't think I've ever done that before. I've always just went straight to the cellar. Craps! Seems like everyone's trying to pull a fast one these days. Boy, I don't have a clue who this Link fella is, but I've got to say, I ain't overly confident he's going to come save this village. Well, boy, howdy, are you wrong? <laughs> are you wrong, Barnes? Fortunately, you can't see him, though. What sorcery is this? entrance to the cellar opening on its own. Could those beasts have engineered even this? Oh, don't worry. It was, uh, it was Link. You, you just can't see him. All right, enough about that. Let's head on into the cellar. As I believe there's actually some, uh, twilight insects in here we want to be looking for. Here we go. Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> Y'all got a jump on him for a bit. There we go. Going for that attack. Nice. Let's go and collect three spirits, I believe. That's all they've got in here, right? Do they got anything to dig? Oh, no, we didn't take damage. Nice. I believe uh, that's all there is over here. So all we can do is just head on up. How about that? It looks like you can climb the scaffolding. All right, let's go ahead and activate the jumps. You're quite the jumper, Link. You've got some uh, pretty cool wolf jumps. Yes, here we are in the graveyard. A little secret entrance through the well there. There's not a whole lot you can do in the graveyard, as I believe there's no... Yeah, I don't see any on the map. There's no uh, uh, bugs to be looking for here. But there actually is some cool stuff we can do, I think, later in the game uh, with the uh, graveyard. So uh, just remember this place for uh, for the future, as we'll be coming back here later. All right, let's make our way over here. Oh, hello, big-ass rat creature. I forgot that they return here. We meet again, but Link's got uh, even more powers up his sleeve, including your favorite, the wolf bites that your brothers at Hyrule Castle have fallen to. Okay, we can make that jump, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. I believe there are some bugs in here. I know, I remember uh, we got to be climbing on the rooftops a lot over here. Where are they? Oh, wait, isn't there like a puzzle thing we got to do? Here we go. Yeah, we got to light the fire. Did I pass by the torch? No? Alright. Uh, when was it in here? I'm trying to remember certain areas in this. Hey, guys, how y'all doing? What's good? Have a taste of some bites, bitches! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, my bad. I uh, missed my bites there. Damn. I was trying to act, have Link act so cool over there, but you know what? Ended up not working how I wanted it to. But you know, that's alright. I ended up dying anyways. Thank you for the 20 rupees. Oh my god, I've got to be stupid. I... <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit, I forgot they placed the torch right in front of there. I was looking, I was like, where is this goddamn thing? It was right in front of me the whole time. I forgot about that. There we go, I want to go ahead and light that. So we can go ahead and bring out the bugs. Where they are, are you up here? Alright, that's good. Let's see if I can get the jump on them, that'd be nice. Come here, get out of here. I believe there was only one in here, right? Yeah. All right, off to the other rooftops we go. I remember there also being some like cool ass thing that happens um, with like finding some bugs that we'll be doing pretty soon. It's pretty damn cool if I say so myself. I'll save talking about that um, for uh, when we get there though. Kakariko Hot Spring. Anyone and everyone is welcome. Soak slowly to warm your heart. Well, you know, he doesn't need to heal right now, but you know what? That's greatly appreciated for later, I guess. Okay, um, let's see if I remember what we gotta do. I know we have to get up there somehow. Oh my god, 
<laughs> be careful, Link. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way over here and smash on into this window. As I believe we got some more bugs in here. I believe this is the bomb shop, right? Flammable. Lantern, strictly prohibited. Well, uh, you don't gotta worry about that. He can't use a lantern right now, but uh, uh you know what? Y'all might want to watch out, Store, because uh, he's got one when he's in human, highly in form. There you go, that's the bug we're looking for. How you doing? Hope you enjoy dying, because uh, you ain't coming back, bitch. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make our way over here. Back on outside to the village, and I think this leads you up here. Yes, I think we are actually about to do the cool thing I was teasing. Yeah, it's just up in here. See, we got a bug that climbed on in here. Let's go ahead and follow it. Alright, as you can see, we are in a hut with a shit ton of bombs and all sorts of things. You know what, Link? It's not very smart to be, um, you know, picking up a torch and lighting it, but you know what? Screw it, man. It's for getting those bugs. You gotta save the land of Hyrule. <laughs> yeah, the flammable bugs. Ignite. Huh? What did you do? Sorry, but as romantic as this is, I'm not going to stay here with you. I'm getting out. You know what? That's very fair, Minda. <laughs> yeah, so this house just continues to burn. So we gotta get the hell out of here before that shit goes uh, awry. And boom! Down goes the hut. As well as the bugs with it. So we got some fear tears out of uh, causing property destructive damage in Kakariko. You know what? Win-win, I would say. Because he doesn't gotta pay for it. <laughs> Hmm, I don't suppose there's any nicer way to hunt these things, huh? Well, you had to sacrifice someone's house to find Tears of Light, but that's how the cookie crumbles, right? See? Exactly! Minda gets it. See, that's just how it be sometimes. You gotta do anything it takes to, uh, <laughs> become the hero of Hyrule. Is this where we gotta go? Man, I cannot for the life of me remember where like, oh here they are, they're in here, oh my god. <laughs> I was spending so much time searching all around Kakariko Village. Here he is. Cause I just could not remember where this guy was, but I believe this is it. Right over here in this box, there we go. Nice. All right. If you're done with your errand, then let's get out of here. Now don't worry, I mean, no, he's done. <laughs> God, I don't know why that took me so long to remember. I'm sorry about that. But okay, now we've done all that. Uh, we're actually done collecting all of the uh, tears off in the to the village specifically. Because now we can head on over to Death Mountain. As the last three uh, tears of light await us there. Looks like the path's impassable. But I can get you up if you want to go. See, that's the beauty of uh, twilight hopping, as I like to call it. <laughs> Very nice. And see, here we go, our first look at a Goron in Twilight Princess. Through his spirits. Ugh, why do I have to stand guard? The ladder is destroyed, so it is not like any humans will come up. And what is with the elders? If we have a problem the humans can help with, we should ask. It is better than suffering for the sake of pride. You know what? I say you're cooking, to be honest, Goron, but you know, unfortunately the Elder Goron in this game is a bit stuck up, so... <laughs> fortunately he doesn't see things like that. Good dodge, you think you can get the jump on him. Come over here, you little... Well, these things are the true rat creatures, not really the birds, but you know what? I'll still call them that. They'll always be rats in my eyes. Okay, I'm pretty sure we just gotta keep on trucking forward, I believe. Oh yeah, as we're passing our way through Death Mountain, this stone thing, I forgot about this stone. Uh, yeah, these stones, if you remember the, um, the wolf that taught Link the finishing blow, um, the skeleton spirit that helped train Link with that skill mentioned something about, uh, these stones. Listening and using these stones as Wolf Link. Go ahead and play a melody. And using this melody and activating it will allow you to learn a new skill when Link becomes a Hylian.
And there we go. Let's go ahead and play it one last time. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Now, if you were wondering why that song sounded familiar, well, you were correct to think that, because I believe that was the song of healing from Majora's Mask. It's a very cool thing about the, um, the Wolf Howling tracks, as a lot of them are references to other Zelda games or their songs. Very cool, and as you can see here on the map, it shows you where the wolf is for a new skill, but Link can't do that right now because he his, himself is still a wolf. But you know what? That is going to be safe for Hylian Link, obviously. Okay, now let's keep on uh, moving on ahead, as I believe pretty soon we should be running into another insect with a tear. I think, oh my, <laughs> oh my god, and uh, geysers that spew wind at you in air. Okay, uh, let's keep on heading down. Death Mountain. As well as some more Twilight Beasts. As I believe we can unlock another gate after defeating these guys. Hey, what's good? All oh, right, I forgot from here they start to separate them with walls. Okay, uh, let me go get this guy first, and then I'll get you three. Stay there. Now, if you'd be so kind as to be next to each other. I'd really appreciate that. Here we go. Here's the insect. Let's go and drop him down. How you doing, sir? I'd appreciate it if you're not flying around, but it's okay. We got a uh, wolf hops. Oh, that's now you're grabbable. <laughs> I missed it. Wow. Okay. You know, that's on me. There we go. Didn't miss that time. Okay. Let's go ahead and climb up. Preferably without getting hit by geyser. Oh man. I had to speak too soon, didn't I? Okay, there we go. Let's do it properly, and let's go ahead and talk to another Goron. Why do I have to stand guard at a dead end at the bottom of a cliff like this? Wait a second. Have they tucked me out of the way because they think I'm useless? Damn. Well, that's pretty deep. Damn, I forgot about that. Well, hope you're doing alright, Goron guy. That's pretty tough. Alright, I remember this. Yeah. Let's go ahead and, uh... Wait for that to spew, because I don't want to get attacked by the geyser like I did last time. There we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. Yes, yeah, so Death Mountain starts to erupt right now. I really like it if we can make it in time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get up there, Link. Go. We can still make it in time. God damn it. <laughs> no, are you kidding me? Oh, my God. This is a whole disaster. Come on. We can still make it. We can still make it. Oh, my God. Climb up, Link! We could still see it! There's still time! I, I think. I'm pretty sure something should be falling down. Get out of here! So many distractions. Okay, come over here. I'll take your tear. Thank you very much. Oh my god, y'all. I'm so sorry. I apologize. My mind has been so scrambled during this segment. I first thought the volcanic thing that I was thinking about, that I was trying to say, that shit doesn't happen until much later, and I'm pretty sure I accidentally skipped a bug over here. Oh my god. It has been a while since I played this game. And it shows. Okay, I think we gotta go back to the, um... Uh... Yeah, we gotta go back to the, um, the Howling Stone, as I just remembered. We missed one there. It should be a guy. Here he is. Bear went through the ground. We had to go dig him out. Come over here. You've caused me way too much pain and agony searching through Death Mountain, because I forgot. You'd be so kind. As we get out of there, so we can return Elden back to normal. Okay, here we go. Come here. Let's go. 
Oh my god. Oh, I was so close. Oh my god. Goddamn ledges. There we go. Gotcha. And with that, all the tears of light have been found. Took me long enough. Jesus. <laughs> Once again, I'm so sorry about that, guys. The vessel of light is full of tears, and light has returned to this area. Ah, I was just starting to have fun. Don't forget that few shadow. See you later. See you, Minna. Kakariko is back to how it should be. My name is Elden. I am one of the light spirits of Hyrule. I am the spirit that guards these lands. O oh, great hero, chosen by the gods. The dark power you seek lies in the sacred grounds of the proud mountain dwellers. But already those grounds have been defiled, draped in shadow and seeded with evil. You must go to those sacred grounds and cleanse them. That he will do, Elden. That he will do. Link? <laughs> See, Beth? I told you Link would save us. Poor Colin, I was getting beaten down. He's here, guys, of course. You can always keep his promise. Link's the goat, man. You are the one from Ordon whom these children spoke of? We are well met. I am Renato, shaman of this town. And this? <laughs> Goofball. This is my daughter, Luda. The beast took us and left us to die, but Mr. Renato found us. At first I couldn't believe they had come from so distant a place as the Ordana province. Yeah, I... we don't remember much. All of a sudden everyone was captured and then, until now, it's been like... A nightmare. Yeah, it was like a terrible dream, and we couldn't wake up. Mm. Nightmares are everywhere these days. It seems this village has certainly seen its share of recent hardships. The dark beasts attacked, but even worse was the sudden and inexplicable change in the mountain-dwelling Goron tribe. They had long been our friends, but suddenly treated us as foes. Even now, they refuse to permit us entry into their minds. It strains the limits of belief to think that such a gentle and proud tribe could change so suddenly. It makes me wonder if something in those minds is the cause of this change. In any case, you must take these children and flee this village before more nightmares descend. 
I, of course, cannot leave my village in such a time. There is no telling what may happen to us here. But it is my job to try to coax the Gorons back from their recent change of heart. <laughs> I love how the kids look at them, they're like, Coaxing the Gorons, huh? Well, Link, you could do that, right? You've never met them, but surely you can. You're you're so cool. <laughs> oh, in a sense is bliss. You'd think someone could go to the mines and do something. Yeah, don't worry. He'll give it a shot. That's how he always rolls. He doesn't back down to any challenge. Link, trying to go near the mines is very dangerous. I would be very sad to be separated from Colin and the others, but I know they must go. Please return them safely to their parents. Yeah, don't worry, he's got you. I do not know what is in the Goron Mines, but surely they will soon come to understand it and write what is wrong. Do not concern yourself with me, my son. You must flee this place as quickly as you can. Sorry, ma'am. You know what? Link's got a duty he's got to do here in uh, Kakariko in the Elden Province. You know what? He'll be the one to take charge. He'll go talk to those Gorons. You know, what's the worst that can happen? You know, they said that they refuse to have anyone go talk to him. You know what? They can't refuse such a badass like Link. All right, Mr. Goron. Link's here to have a chat with you, if you don't mind. Well, uh, just wait a second. You know, he's got to climb up this uh, big-ass ladder. But uh, he'll be there in a second. Just a little longer. And there we go. Hey, how you doing? Uh, yo, can you let him pass? Oh, no humans allowed. These lands ahead belong to the Goron tribe. The Elder said no humans may pass. Um, bitch, say less. You know, he's hurtled goats before. He can handle you before. Let's go! And obviously, he, <laughs> you know, you're, he can't. It's he's rock solid. A human strength is nothing compared to a Goron's. Do you understand me, human? Then away with you. Yeah, unfortunately, in this case, he's right. There's nothing Link can do here, so, uh... You know what? Might as well go tell the village people the bad news, man. It's all you can do for now. Ah, how fortunate you are in one piece. I saw you heading up the mountain trail, so I was worried. Are you trying to reach the Gorons of Death Mountain? It is far too dangerous, Link. They recognize only strength. A normal person could never persuade them. But... I do know one person who was able to best them and earn their trust. His name is Bo. You may know him as the mayor of your hometown, Ordon. Please, go to him. And while you are there, please let him know that the children are safe. Of course, getting them back would be best, but we cannot keep them safe from the monsters on the road without a horse and cart. Please return to Ordon and inform the parents that their children are free from harm. Give them my word. Don't worry, man. He's got you, Renato. I forgot how much of a cool guy he was. So yeah, unfortunately, Link cannot best the strength of Goron just yet. But that is why we will have to return to the Ordon area to go talk to the mayor for that. But before we actually end off things here, there's one last cool little thing I want to go ahead and do, which I believe involves Link heading back to the entrance of Kakariko Village. Yeah, here we go. And there's Epona after so long. Being uh, saddled by the goblins, no less. Yeah, she's uh, running a little crazy. And you know it's Link's job to bring her back to her senses. Alrighty, sit tight, Epona. He's got you. Alright, here we go. Okay, now it's gotten a little crazy for my boy Link over here. So, <laughs> yeah, there you go. But I remember you got to like a... Uh, Constantly saddle left and right to convert. Hold on, sit tight, he's coming. Epona, be a nice girl. He's on the way. There we go. Okay. There we go. It's got to do it in the directions that the game tells you to. There we go. Hang on. Just a little more. Let's go ahead and finish the job. Hell yeah, man. Epona's back, baby. Alright, and with that, we can now freely travel faster throughout Hyrule Field. Hmm, you're not too shabby a wrangler after all. Won't this make getting back to your town a lot easier? 
Now go finish your errands so we can get back. Get a move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got you, Minya. Don't worry. All right, so now we've gone ahead and got Epona and saved the village from Twilight. I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap up things here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And I'll see you in the next one. Now that we've got Epona back, we can now freely travel faster through Hyrule Field. And we'll be making our way back to Oron Village to talk to the mayor to help out with the Gorons. As well as, I believe, there's a couple heart pieces and stuff I want to find across the field now that we got Epona too. So uh, a lot of cool, fun stuff to come up ahead. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're enjoying my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.